Hello ladies and gentlemen, now my does this. In today's video I'm going to be opening 60 pounds worth of Shining Face product versus 60 pounds worth of Brilliant Stars product. Both of these products in some ways are the same whereas in Shining Face you get the baby shinies and in the Brilliant Stars you get the trainer gallery cards. So without further ado, be ado, let's get it. Alright guys, so we have two triple pack blisters from the Brilliant Stars and about nine separate booster packs from probably a booster box and then we have four boxes of the pin collection i think this is the full set of pin collections from the shining fates so let me just crack these all open put them on a play mat and i'll be right back all right guys so with all of the boxes open and stuff like that we have a collection of promos here and some pin badges one jumbo coin here are your code cards. There you go. And those are your code cards. And on the left we have Shining Fates. And on the right we have Brilliant Stars. So this was between each other. There's about £60, £65 between each other. For the four pin boxes it cost about £60, £65. And then I kind of just bought similar worth for the shining face but for the brilliant stars you get three extra packs i think so you get 15 so there's 15 packs here and then there's 12 in the shining face so without further scooby ado guys let's start with some shining face we got charizard shiny charizard vmax pack up whoa yep so the reason i'm kind of doing this again something different and because I want to start a Shining Fates master set so what better way to kind of do it to kind of put it up against a similar set with subset oh nice starting things off we've got baby Dartrix and there's also something behind it a Cramorant V so kind of a double banger on first pack with Shining Fates nice Yeah, so I've wanted to, like I said, I wanted to do the master set for Shining Fates. And I wanted to do something different as well. So with subsets, where Shining Fates has the baby shinies and Brilliant Stars has the training galleries. What better way than to do it by doing it against each other. So in terms of value wise anyway, so whatever I spend on Shining Fates. I spend a similar amount on Brilliant Stars, see which one does better. So we have Brilliant Stars next. Bear Tick, Fresher, Shinx, Garfetch, Execute, Grammar, a Fairy, Reverse Bow Toy, and a Mock. So, in terms of first packs, Shining Face is currently winning. And if you're new to the channel, your first time or your first video on brilliant stars there's a playlist down in the link in the description and a link in the description i've almost completed the master set i have about three cards left and maybe hopefully i might be able to pull one of the three in this video i doubt it but hopefully i can this i mean probably would or I'm probably better off just high five. High five. Find the singles now from the three that I need but again I still want to open brilliant stars maybe even if I can hit doubles on some of the bangers to grave so there's my kind of incentive or reason to be opening more brilliant stars which here I am just so that I can some cards for grading we even double up on some big hitters i wouldn't mind having some double ups with big hitters either for grading or just to keep in the collection separate from the master set binder good no oh so far not so good in terms of both just that one pack 
had a double banner in Shining Fates. Oh, I should have separated just to see if those triple back blisters. Because I've always wanted to test triple back blisters to see if there's anything good from them. I mean, in most cases, my luck with triple back blisters has been terrible. Mana fee. Oh, Arceus V. Here's our first hit from Brilliant Stars. Arceus V. Nice. So, so far, one for one. Although, just because of the baby shiny and that V, even though Shining Face did get the Arceus V. I mean, Shining Face did get the baby shiny. I can't, uh, Brilliant Stars with the Arceus. Could be winning. Could be winning. But also just because of double pack banger. Shining Fates takes the win so far. But so far one for one. Make it. We'll see. Snom. Opepo. Snom. And a hollow fever. In my most recent videos, depending on high five, I will upload these. Probably gonna upload them as I recorded them, but I've just been banging out the recordings all in one sitting. And then we have a Charizard V. Nice. So, so far, Brilliant Stars is probably in the lead just because of Charizard. Charizard being Charizard. There's a Charizard V. But yeah, I've been banging out my videos all in one sitting. And I don't know And I don't know How I'm gonna upload them, if I'm gonna upload them in order or not If I do then You've probably seen it But Astral Radiance recently is the most recent set that's released And I've opened up pretty much all of the products Minus maybe the building battle stadium. Probably the building battle stadium is the only thing I've got left. Now oh, there's a hit. There's a nice hit. I really like this card. This shiny Grimstar VMAX. Which could have been Charizard. And a hollow decision. That's a really nice pull. I like this shiny Grimstar. Grimstar reminds me of um, Venom. Kind of. Or well, this one would be like an anti Venom. A white Venom, anti Venom. I don't know. Something like that. But that's a really nice pool. That is a really nice pool from Shining Fates. Alright, so Shining Fates so far, just because of that pool, might even be taking the lead. Wow, I wasn't expecting this opening to be that good, to be honest. I was not actually expecting that. But again, that Grim Snow could have been Charizard. Ah, it's not going to happen. No way. No way. I'm more than likely going to have to speed up. I'm more than likely gonna have to shell out about how much are they now? I think those um I think that shiny Charizard just raw. Is it still about 300 quid? I think it's still about 300 pounds or close to it, somewhere around that range. So eesh. Already just starting things off. Shining face is gonna be the uh, very expensive set to master just because the choices are being price nice baby score that also these as well these baby shinies i think there's like 100 of them right wait yeah there's 122 of them oh no it's not is it included in the set no i think there's 122 shinies baby shinies which that in itself is going to be tough to pull all of them. I mean, they're probably not even that expensive anyway to buy singles as well. So, come down the line when I decide that I don't want to open any more packs, I just buy them singly. Again, that Charizard though, that Charizard is going to cost a bomb. Magma, Spirit 2, Reverse Start, Turn, and Dragon.
Yeah, so so far, Shiny Face is in the lead, and Shiny Face has less packs as well. Darkness Energy, Cameron, Frosty Shield, Elder Boss, Rowlet, Trapinch, Weasel, Popping, Jinx, and Mega, and a Frost Moth. Hey, what was I saying about um, the recent set? Yeah, Astral Radiant. So far, from what I've opened, just minus the Build and Battle Stadiums, which is also coming, which should be coming soon as well, hopefully. Depending on, again, the order I upload these videos. That'll be the last thing that I open. Oh, nice! <laughs> Training Gallery Flare on. There we go. So, there's. So, we've seen our first subset in the Hollow Infinite from Brilliant Stars. There we go. Nice. So, we've seen at least both the subset and the main set from both sets. But, yeah, Astro Radiance. My luck so far from all of the products that I've opened has been quite good you're gonna see if you haven't already the one pull which i was which i still am stoked about so stoked about that one card that i pulled just speaking of it you probably i mean there's a few there's a couple few few there's a few cards in that set that are worth being stoked about but i pulled at least one of them i'm happy about that even though I'm gonna take my time with that set because of Pokemon Go as I keep coming back to which is releasing and then when you see this video as well I will, has already released or is close to being released for me it's two weeks time for you after seeing this video could be already released or even very very soon maybe even a couple of days or so so yeah Oh my god, really looking forward to that set. That's really, really looking forward to that set. 100%, 100% going to be master setting it. Probably going into it actually. Heavily, heavily invest into it. So, if you're looking forward to the Pokemon Go set, guys, I'd like, I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe, Yahoo! turn off. Oh, almost missed it. Trying to tell you guys to subscribe and like and stuff. We have a baby shiny Machino and a hollow glaring reason. Yeah, so if you want to see Pokemon Go, guys, like, subscribe, turn notifications on. And as soon as Pokemon Go comes out, we'll definitely, definitely be covering it. I've seen a few of the eight cards so far. I'm trying not to look at all of them, but I've seen a few, and some of the cards I've seen are nice. You've obviously, I don't know. I mean, if you don't really want to spoil it for yourself as well, skip ahead in the video. And although you might even skip past a hit or something like that, but those radiant starters, oh my, they don't. Uh, my favorite, I'll probably put them up on the screen as well. But my favourite out of all of them, funny enough, is the Venusaur. There's a Charizard, there's a Blastoise, and then there's a Radiant Venusaur, but this time they did Venusaur justice than they did with the other two. Venusaur is looking quite nice compared to the other two. Well, this is UI. Yeah, Venusaur is looking way better than the other two. That Charizard, I... I guess I can learn from this. I expected too much of Charizard, because it's being Charizard, obviously. Charizard being Charizard, you expect a lot, but... For Charizard, it's disappointing. It's disappointing for Radiant God. Expected way more. Lipod, and we have a Jump RV. So even then, I still think... Right now, uh, I don't know. Shining Fates has more subset. Brilliant Stars has more main set. But I think, again, for me, just that Grim Star, Grim Snarl, V Max Shiny alone 
kind of might even take Shining Fates for the win in this one. Luxio, Floatzo, Dartrix, Weasel, Jinx, Coughing, Trapinch, Rowlet. Oh, nice, amazing Veltal. And Celebi. The amazing rares as well, that's. I guess you can kind of count Shining Fates in a way. The same as um, Astral Radiance, where it has obviously the main set, the subset, and then the Radiant set, where in Shining Face as well, you have the main set, the subset, and the baby minis, and amazing res as well. High five! So I probably should have done Shining Face versus Astral Radiance. More in line because you got that. I think how many amazing amazing rares do you get in Shining Fates? Is it three? Double turbo energy, how creamy. If it's three, then yeah, it's kind of more in line with um Astral Radiance than it is Brilliant Stars. But obviously I wanted to open Brilliant Stars more, so I did Brilliant Stars. Turning energy and so far actually yeah shining face is actually in the lead rather more echo spinnerack snom ruki that's on here and we have a full art shiny in ddv so yep i think automatically even though we have four packs left from brilliant stars i think automatically Shining Face is going to take the win on this one because we have a full up, a full up shiny, and a full up shiny VMAX. And so far, Brilliant Stars, Trainer Gallery, and 3 Vs. Nothing special. I mean, I don't think I got anything from those triple pack blisters. Or, or did I open it at the bottom? I don't remember. I opened those first one. Or did I stuck it? I don't even remember. But yeah, so Shining Face is actually gonna win with less packs, definitely. In a way. Unless I pull an ult out or something from Brilliant Stars. But I doubt it. I doubt it. It's gonna take something special from Brilliant Stars to pull through with the win. Definitely. Will it happen? Will it happen? Hold on, hip up, Tatbe, Mancino, Parablast, Weasel, Jim Char, and Mock. Yeah, no, I don't think it's happening guys. I think Brilliant Stars is actually gonna take the loss on this one. And I was actually hoping Brilliant Stars with the luck that I've had with Brilliant Stars as well was gonna win. Doesn't seem it. Again, triple back blisters has, has never been that great for me. Nope, they haven't. Not in terms of brilliant stars anyway. The brilliant stars triple back blisters for me. Well, no, that did. And then nine random packs from my booster box. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of expected. So kind of shouldn't have actually expected too much from brilliant stars to be honest. Oh, Cafe Master, Floria, The Fairy, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Lucha, Weasel, No Trainer Gallery, and No Hits. So, guys, time for a little quick recap. Alright, guys, so from Brilliant Stars, we got a Drampa V, a Flareon, Trainer Gallery, Charizard V, and an Arceus V. Two decent Vs, at least two decent Vs, and then from Shining Fates, we got the one Hammerant V, Amazing Rare Ivelto, Baby Shiny Mincino, Baby Shiny Squirvert, Baby Shiny Dartrix, a full art Shiny in DDV, nice, and for me, my favorite from this opening altogether is Grim Snarl V Max Shiny. So guys, let me know in the comments down below which you thought won, but I think there's a clear winner. Shining Face probably won it. 
but apart from that on that note guys if you enjoyed the video if you stuck with me to the end i'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more and i'll see you on the next one peace